That's right. And she said, yes, Lord. Yes, even the little dogs eat True, them, Lord. which fall from their master's table. Come on, now. Yeah. See, we, we, we have to understand the word of God. We have to know that when God puts us on hold. Amen. We need to, regardless if they were black, they white, Jew, Gentile, man or woman, mm -hmm. salvation is to all people. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's all this home probably was Jewish and with Jewish tradition and custom that they would probably have a meal together. Amen. They have been Amen. some young children playing with a small puppy and they were eating some crumbs fell from the table. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine seeing the little pups eat the crumbs. While in this home, a lady in this era, which Matthew calls a woman a Canaanite, uh -huh. come begging Jesus to deliver a daughter Amen. from a demon. Amen. The word canon does not say much to you and to me, but to Matthew audience, the Jews meant it was a one thing enemy. Mm -hmm. The Canaanites were long standing enemies with the Jews. Here Jesus was with his disciples, sent, spending some time in enemy territory. But this woman come into this very little house and begs for Jesus' help. She addresses Jesus with a title that only Jews would understand. Mm -hmm. She said, oh Lord, son of David. Yeah. This was a title for the Messiah. Yeah. Gentile people did not have that kind of belief. Mm -hmm. All right. This woman grew up in a country where they had beliefs in many gods. Mm -hmm. They had a god of the sun. They had a god of the rain. They had a god of the wind. They had a god of this and a god of that. Mm -hmm. Everything it was a god. Uh -huh. Everything. And how many of you know that we do, some of us have some gods now? Some yes, now. yes. Huh? We have some little gods. They are Every children. Day. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. We Three make some gods out of our husbands. We make some gods out of our wives. We make God out of everything but God. Amen. And then when God puts us on hold, we get offended when he puts us on hold. Amen. We need to understand that this woman grew up believing that all these multiple gods could not help her. Mm -hmm. She had a daughter severely Amen. tormented. By a demon, uh -huh. she needed some real help. Yes, God yes. let us know that we got some kids and some grown folks too that is severely possessed, huh? With demons, amen. We don't understand why they're acting the way they're acting, but they are possessed yes. with demons, amen. Yes. And demons are bold. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Huh, you can play with them if you want to. Uh, <laughs> you ain't prayed up and blow your word. You can pray with these little demonettes. Huh, right. Right. If you want to. Yeah. And then when we don't understand, when, when, when the demonettes are cast out of them and then they come back, they come seven That's times strong. That's right. Man. Yes. Then we're wondering, why are the kids acting this way? Why the kids don't respect their parents? Why the parents don't? Because we're dealing with spiritual demons and we the one got to cast them out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our kids are not really acting up because they simply won't. They, they're full of demons. 
And the thing about it is the parents don't know enough of the word to pray the demon out of them. Because, see, you have to fast sometimes. You have to turn away your plate sometimes. You got to call on Jesus. You got to anoint your kid's head. You got to anoint your kid's bed. You got to anoint your kid's going and anoint your kid's coming. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's why we so much are so against up. Our kids is rebellious. Yeah. It's because, see, faith, whoever made that song, we ain't praying like we used to pray. Uh huh. Uh huh. We ain't praying like we used to pray. Yes. Amen. I remember back in the day, we had to sit at the table and have Bible study sure with did. the family. Sure yes. Did. Sure did. These Amen. kids in this generation, if it's even a Bible in the house. Yes. Okay. Yes. Say it. Uh, Amen. If it's a Bible in the house, Amen. and then you can catch them on their phone, they tick yeah. they're doing everything but reading the word of God. They are going to be lost. Right. Amen. Let me tell you something. We're finna step in some stuff that money is not going to be able to buy. We're going to step into some situation this year. I'm not talking about next year. It's some things going to happen this year. That if you're not rooted and grounded in the word, you are going to sell out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You going to sell out. Mm -hmm. Some of us are undercoverly already in a sold out. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Amen, somebody. Amen. Some of us have already sold our souls Amen. to the devil. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't no need of lying. Ain't no need of pretending. Yeah. I don't care how you look at it. Some of us have already sold our come souls to the devil. Because Jesus. when we allow things to come into our place and know the things we, we have sold ourselves. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. Devil already got you. Yes. He already got you. You can't you can't get a prayer through. You can pray all you want to, it ain't going nowhere. Amen. Right. But you got to ask God to come into your life. Yes. You got yes. to repent. And let me tell y'all something. Quit repenting to yourself and not repenting to the first person you did something to. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something, cousin. In hell, you're gonna lift your eyes up. Amen. You need to quit playing. You cannot do your sister and your brother uh, wrong and think that you can bypass them and walk past them and you on your way to heaven. That's, that's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. The Bible says the Bible. if you got an ought With your against your sister brother. or your brother, that's you right. go to them. Go to them. That's the word. Yes. Thank God it wasn't no texting because he didn't say texting. He said go to them. Yeah, That's our problem. God. We want to do this texting, Lord. Text. This texting, this, this Facebook, right. this Instagram. Yeah. Everybody don't use Facebook. Everybody don't use TikTok. Everybody don't use Instagram. You can't. And I sure can't stay in Facebook. Amen. Because of that Facebook Instagram, TikTok ain't nothing but a trick of the devil. And those who allow your kids to come immune to that stuff, you going to have a problem. Uh -huh. You going to have a problem and no need of you thinking. That's how they're capturing our kids. Yeah, They're capturing our kids coming out the womb and these babies coming out the womb to hold the phone. Come on now, you better say that. And because we don't want to be bothered uh -huh. with our kids. Come on, somebody. We don't want to be That's bothered. Right. We want to do our whatever we want to do. And we don't want our kids to bother us. What we do is give them the phone. Give them, them an iPad. Give on, them man. a tablet. Yeah. Give them whatever thing electronic yeah. they have to keep from being bothered. That's why the kids are in the situation mm. they're in. But then when God places you on hold. Yes. Come on. God places you on hold. When you when, when you done gave, you done fed your kids Facebook and fed them TikTok, and then you talking to them and they they study on their phone. Yes. Now you, uh, you no tension. You talking to them and you fussing with them and they TikTok. Yeah. 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 Huh? We don't even our parents, we don't have the respect to tell the kid, you put that phone down when I'm talking to you. Uh-huh. You you put it down. You don't be on the phone. But they, and these kids are so rebellious. We're living in a time where kids are so rebellious. Amen. Amen. They don't know how to talk to grown people. No. See, when I was coming up, I couldn't say what to my mama. That's right. Yeah. Me neither. I, if I wanted, I could never say 
My mama said, Paul, if I said what, I'm going to find myself getting up right. off that ground. Yeah. Yes. I couldn't say what. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's why the kids are destroyed. Mm -hmm. Because we allow the kid to say and do whatever they want to. I'm 50, 60, however years old. I know 66 years old, soon to be 67. <laughs> Amen. Need none of my kids have never, ever. We ain't that good where you cuss on the phone and talk to me. I don't care what you talk about. I about. know that's yeah. right. Amen. You don't cuss on I the phone with me. Right. Yes. Baby, because if you did. You not go. That's disrespect. I don't yes. care how you put it. Yes, you it can't is. play yes. cussing on phone. Talk to me. Yes. <laughs> I don't care. They ain't talking to me. Amen. In my presence, you better talk like I raised you. That's right. That's you right. better talk like I told you. Amen. I told you how to respect. Amen. I hear so many kids. I hear so many kids cuss when they talking to their parents, and I be shaking. I I, I said, Lord. I, it ain't, it ain't it ain't get it ain't it ain't get away with me. Right. And it's because we simply don't teach your your kids should never get that comfortable. Uh huh. Yes. Hmm. And I don't care what you say. That's a lack of your training. Amen. That's a lack of your training. My kids drink, but they don't drink in front of me. Amen. And they show cuss, but they don't cuss in front of me. Mm -hmm. They don't do it. They're not going to get me on the phone and act like we friends and you can just cuss and say what you want to say. The <laughs> devil is a lie. See, we got to set up a standard. <laughs> Amen. Man, man. We got to set up a standard. Mm. That's why our kids, especially our black kids, are being lost because we don't set up a standard. Amen. We don't make them act like kids ought to act. Mm -hmm. My mama told me as long as I was in her house, I couldn't talk smart back to her. I couldn't say, as long as I'm in her room, when I feel like I'm grown, then get out. That's right. When I feel like I got to disrespect her, get out. Yes. When yes. I feel like I ain't got to clean up, get out. Mm -hmm. When I feel like I ain't got to do what she say, get out. Mm -hmm. And take care of yourself. Amen. Take care of yourself. Amen. Ain't but one grown person. I don't care how grown you is. If you in my house and you 25, it ain't but one grown person in this house. Yes. We got to get back to the oh, basics. Exactly. Everybody talking about this the oh. No, no, we need to get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. yes. right. We wonder why the world is in shambles. Mm -hmm. The Bible say, if my people, whom I call by my name, the humble ourselves. And you know what the problem is? Some of us are dust, we don't humble ourselves. Amen. Amen. Don't get it twisted. The Bible said, provoke your child down into anger. That's yes. right. That's right. You know that that you don't get you don't get no pass to treat them any kind of way. Yeah. You don't get no pass to treat them any kind of way. Disrespect kids, and then you wonder why they disrespect you. Mm. Because they do it just what they see. Mm -hmm. I've never seen so many kids that the parents call them B's and H's and or mm -hmm. like they just talking to a common person. I I, I I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. That's what you was gave a name for. Amen. If a person can't call you by your name, Amen. they tell them don't call you at all. That's right. We living in a day and time, y'all. We got to get this thing together. Amen. We, we, God is coming back. We got to get this thing together. And, and what we got to understand in getting this thing right with God, we're gonna lose some people that's close to us. That's right. That's our problem. We don't want to lose nobody that we feel is close. Amen. Yeah. We want to be our kids' friend. I ain't none of my kids' friends. That's right. But see, when you become friends, then they can treat you the way they want to. Mm -hmm. See, I can talk to my friend any kind of way I want to. We don't have, me and my kids don't have that type of relationship. Amen. Amen. And people, another thing, say, I want my kids to come and talk to me about anything. I beg the difference on that too. Because see, I want my kids to be comfortable in talking to me if somebody said, but everything, no, uh uh. Because if it allows you to step out the bound of being a child, no, nah, baby, you better go get you a psychiatrist. You better go get you a mental something. But no, no, you're not. See, people, see, that's how the devil trick us up. Amen. Girl, yeah, y'all just need to be open. No, nah, yeah. everything ain't supposed to be open. That's right, yeah. show Lane. <laughs> We Amen. listen to people and we allow people to put things in our ear and mm -hmm. we allow these white people too to put stuff in our kids. Speak your mind. Mm -hmm. Speak your mind will get your head busted fooling with me. You know, because you're going to give me a level of respect. I'm going to respect you 
and you're going to respect me. But no, you not. You ain't never going to get that grown where you feel you can speak your mind and say anything to me. The devil is alive. Right. Amen. We, we, we better start teaching our kids because we're going to run into something. We're going to run into something this year, y'all. Y'all, I don't know if people really paying attention. All these stores is closing down. Yes. 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 Everything around us is closing down. Right. And we think we're doing something by going. And let me tell you something. All this meat being produced in factories and right. stuff. And um, we don't, we're don't. not picking up on it because, we, first of all, we're so hungry, we don't care. Yeah. Huh? And we don't want to take the time to do things that cause us not to go into and, and to distress. Mm -hmm. We're not teaching our kids. Let me tell y'all something. You better teach your kids how to fast. Amen. Yes. Huh? You better teach your kids how to fast. Amen. That's what's wrong. Quit taking your kids to every fast food restaurant. Teach them how to fast and how to pray. Because we're going to come into a time where stuff is not going to be at their reach. And if they don't know how to set their plate back and thank God and pray, yeah, that's it's over. They're going to be in a world of trouble. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They're going to be in a world of trouble. Yes. All these kids know it's fast food because right. parents don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. Kids don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. you see, but but we, we, we're teaching our kids. How we're really teaching our kids, they're not, they're not independent. They're independent on doing what they want to do. Amen. But, but they, they don't, they don't know they don't, the things that they should be doing, yes. they don't do. But we're coming to a time this year that y'all should be seeing the sign. Amen. Y'all should be seeing the sign. Right. Because it's, it's coming up this year. Yes. This year. Every time you look around, a store is closed. Every time you better be able to be a woman. See, back in the day, our mamas was able to take anything and make Show something. Up. Amen. Huh? Nowadays, if we ain't got no chicken and we ain't got no pork chop, we don't know how to provide a meal for our kid because we never took out the time to watch our parents. We never took out the time to encourage. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, our parents could take some bread and some and some old rice and whatever else and make a meal out of it. Amen. Yeah, but we too busy, we too busy, including myself. Like I don't like leftovers. We throwing the stuff away. Amen. Someday, someday, and someday soon, that's gonna be a meal. Yeah. It's gonna be a meal for you. All that mess you throwing away. All that stuff you throwing away, amen. Yes. It, it, it's coming to pass. Amen. Yes. And God don't leave his people ignorant. Amen. No, That's right. To the devices of this world, the devices of the devil. Right. But this right. year, this year, y'all better know, like I know, adults, adults better start fasting and praying and being able to look at God for your manner. Because if yeah. not, yeah. you're going to be lost. You're going to be lost. And like I said, nobody's blood will be on my hands. Because this is warning time. This is warning. Teach your kids. Play. I don't care. Get you like I did. I got me a box. I said, I'm making a garden. I don't know how it's going to go. Oh, Lord. But I'm going to try to.